I am the Lorax. I speak for Natural One. Natural One says to you. Yeah, yeah, okay, move out of the way. It's my job to do the intro, okay? And we are back with another installment of our homebrew subclass series where we present our homebrew to you. What? You thought we were going to be another one and done? Thought we would stick to the reels and the TikToks and the shorts? Well, you thought wrong, buddy. We're moving on up to the big leagues now where we're ready for our spotlight. But for now, we're focusing on this unnamed homebrew subclass series, which you guys should give some name suggestions in the comments below and give us some ideas and you'll even get a shout out if we pick your name. Well, the Lorax is waiting patiently next to me, so I guess I'll let him finish the intro. Well, uh, yes, thank you, thank you. The Lorax is back. Just relax and vibe. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today's installment moves away from the warlock and dragon ideas from the last episode, which you should check out if you haven't yet, and it moves into a completely different sphere. Today, we focus on the often unused healbot role, now, with modern D&D and the rule sets the way that they are, the healbot role is not as prominent. But that doesn't mean that there aren't some people out there who don't enjoy it. So this is for you. This subclass is called the Circle of Medicine. It's a druid subclass. It's made up of your typical shamans, witch doctors, and other mystical healers. Those that belong to the circle are excellent at forging from materials and combining the elements of nature to make any natural remedy that may be needed. Those in the circle draw their power from the healing spirits that live within nature and channel those spirits into bolstering their allies' resolve. The second level ability that the Circle of Medicine Druid gives you is called Natural Remedy. This feature is granted by your ability to scrounge around in nature to make any potion, cure, or supplies out of the materials normally found in nature. This scavenging ability grants your character proficiency in medicine. Since some druids already have taken the proficiency in medicine, this may be a dead skill. If your character already has proficiency in medicine, you get the option to choose between three other skills, investigation, nature, or survival. All of these skills hone back into your ability to make something out of nothing. Speaking of something out of nothing, this feature grants you the ability to make one healing kit per day as long as you are in nature and can find appropriate materials. This is up to your DM, so speak to them to make sure that this is a plausible option for you, your character, and their world. Now that we've covered the first level 2 ability, we can get into the healing aspects of this Healbot subclass. Natural Healing, the other level 2 ability, allows you to channel those natural healing spirits you've learned to communicate with and imbue your magic into extra healing for your allies. Any healing spell that you cast that heals an ally of yours is extra powerful, restoring even more health than normal. To get into the technical speak, when you gain this ability at level 2, any healing spell you cast on an ally gets an extra 1d4 healing. As you progress, this healing increases, up to 1d6 at 6th level and 1d8 at 12th level. The power of nature extends from yourself to those that you form a bond with strengthening your healing magic given to you by nature. Every druid has something special to do with their wild shape. It's the core druid ability. With the Circle of Medicine Druid, even in your wild shape, the spirits of nature allow you to heal your allies. While you're in a wild shape form, you can still cast healing spells on your allies. Picture this battle scene for me. You're ambushed by a group of bandits at your camp in the middle of the night. Your fighter ally instantly goes down. On your turn, you use your action to wild shape into a bear. You let out a loud roar. Casting Healing Word is a bonus action. Your fighter pops back up with that 2d4 plus wisdom health, and they're ready to go. The look on the bandit's face is priceless. Maybe it's just me. But that seems like a pretty big power move. At 6th level, you grow more in tune with those natural spirits that grant you your magic. Your healing has grown stronger as well. 
with your healing from your natural healing ability at second level increasing. This bond between you and the spirits and your allies also grows stronger and even bolsters your resolve. Anytime you use a healing spell to heal any one of your allies, your sixth level ability, Nature's Grace, allows you to regain half the amount you healed, rounded down. At sixth level, you have access to third level spells, so you can cast third level Cure Wounds and get half of whatever you rolled on your 3d8 plus 1d6 plus your Wisdom modifier back to heal yourself. You and your allies aren't going down anytime soon. The 10th level ability in this subclass is called Natural Aura, and it expands the healing spirits of nature to emanate from you at all times. This aura can help keep your allies safe from harm as long as they are within the aura's range. When you gain this ability at 10th level, anyone within a 10 foot radius of yourself is automatically stabilized if they fall unconscious. Once you advance to 14th level, the radius is increased to 20 feet. This aura of natural energy ensures that no one around you is permanently dying, and mechanically it can help you clean up your action economy. Fourteenth level is the last level you get an ability as a druid. Along with increasing the range of your natural aura ability, your natural healing turns into a font of magical energy which you can channel to bolster your allies. Your natural healing ability turns into a pool of healing points equal to 5 times your druid level. Any energy within this pool can be used alongside any healing spell you cast on your allies. So, along with your extra 1d8 healing you get from the second level ability natural healing, you can choose to add any amount of energy from your pool of energy up to the max that's within your pool to heal your allies even more. You become a font of constant healing for your allies and the definition of a heal bot. Well, as always, we really appreciate all of you who stuck around to the end and watched the whole video. If you like the subclass or dislike the subclass, please let us know in the comments below, as well as suggestions for the name of the series and other content to come out with. Any feedback is good feedback, and we'll take it into consideration for our future videos. We plan on uploading a little more consistently with a wider range of content too. So let us know what you'd like to see down below. Everything in this video will be available on our Patreon and our home brewery, so make sure you check them out with the links we have in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll let the Lorax take it away from here. The Lorax is back. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we'll catch you on the flip side.